Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I have a written request for you guys today from Jacuzzi, and he asked me to create combustion powders in Minecraft. Really cool concept to like show you guys. Um, I have a few concepts in the works right now. This is the Surf HM that I am working on with Fur Emerald, who is on our Pokemon project. And this is the uh, familiar puzzles you would have seen in Fire Red. I'm actually working on that very closely. Uh, really, really cool. If you guys would like to see that very soon, make sure to leave a like on this video. More Pokemon concepts for you guys, uh, for the Pokemon fans on my channel. So, uh, this is Combustion Powders, uh, a redstone request. If you guys have any other redstone requests you'd like to leave me, feel free to leave a comment on this video. Alright, so let's get straight into this. A uh, very cool concept. So, I have Blaze Powder in my inventory with a torch, which I'll use to light the Blaze Powder, which I will now drop on the ground. Let me just show you guys what happens. So if I drop the blaze powder, uh, it actually disappears because it is now um, being, uh, I guess, uh, spread around the ground, very dispersed and invisible now. Uh, so I'm going to drop a few on the ground. Let's make a really cool pattern, almost like a phoenix pattern. <laughs> I'm making it dark right now. It's actually nighttime because you'll see the fire a lot more clearly. So there you go. That's enough. If I drop the torch, it'll light the powder and create a really cool pattern, uh, like so. So, uh, it was a little bit laggy, but what happens is uh, the powder actually comes from the origin, which is where I dropped the torch, spreads across the ground, and um, basically finds another bit of powder and then spreads across uh, that way. And yeah, so basically everywhere I drop the blaze powder, the fire will spread. Uh, let's quickly clear this up. Really cool concept, thank you to Jacuzzi for that uh, request. If you guys have any other written requests, make sure to leave a comment on this video. So, uh, really cool trap that you can use. I'll give you guys this uh, command uh, to download in the description. So, I'll, I'll condense it with um, my MC Edit filter. Let me create a quick trap, which I will demonstrate very, very quickly. And um, what I'm going to do is spread the blaze powder across the ground. And then I'm going to spawn a few creepers or zombies, and they'll try to track me down. What I'm going to do is, uh, unknown to them, I'm going to light the uh, the thing on fire. Let me just quickly put a torch there so I know where it is. Now let me get some creeper eggs, and actually maybe maybe some zombie eggs because they have a higher tracking, uh, higher what do you call it, follow range. Oh, <laughs> there's one with a spade. So uh, let's see if I can do this quickly. So adventure mode, and then there we go. Now they're on fire. Uh, it's a little bit laggy. Oh no. Alright, so uh, that didn't work out very well, but uh, you can see what's going on. So uh, they're on fire as well. Uh, let me just get out of that mode. You can see what's going on. So this has a lot of utility in it. Um, so you just spread all of the blaze powder on the ground and then light it with a torch. That's how it works. It's like oil. Alright, I'm going to kill the entities. And what I'm going to do this time is I have... Oh, okay. I have a, uh, a list of commands which I've marked, and what I'm going to do is set their invisible tag to zero, so you can see exactly what's happening when I drop the blaze powder. So what I'm going to do is actually drop them right now. Uh, you can see the arm stands actually get spawned, they're not, not invisible anymore. And what happens is, as soon as I drop the torch, uh, it what's going on? <laughs> it detects uh, the arm stand that is closest to it, and within a radius of one. It will spread an entirely new set of armor stands with a different name to it. And it will do that only if there is another armor stand uh, that is closer to it with a different set of scores. It does that the whole time throughout the entire sequence over here. And it will break off if it can no longer find an armor stand. So if I drop the torch, you can see what happens. And when there's a fire uh, block being placed on the ground, the armor stand will die. So that's what happens. Very nice concept. I really like how it turned out. It's really cool. So, thank you to Jacuzzi for that. Leave a comment down below if you have any other written requests. Uh, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and for this concept, which I really like. It's really basic, but um, definitely a very Pokemon y feel to it. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more creative content. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.